Spencer is with us in uh, Indiana to start off this hour. Hey, Spencer, what's up? Hey, Dave. Um, I have quite a mess I've made for myself, um, but we're work- me and my wife are working on trying to get out. Cool. We're on baby step two, and um, I have a whole bunch of student loans. Um, I haven't consolidated them yet, um, partly because of the, the way that the p- repayment is right now. Everything's kind of on forbearance. Uh, I've been making the minimum payment despite the forbearance, but um, my question is this. I have a car loan that's about $30,000, and I have a bunch of student loans. Well, I have some student loans that are less than 30000 but my payment for my car is about $500, and my payment for each of the student loans are like all together are about $1,000. And normally, I, if I'm following your plan right, I would pay the smallest loans off first. But I'm just wondering if I'll have more money to pay back with if I pay my car off first. Nope. Works exactly the same math. Math doesn't change. Okay. The um, you're because you let, let's just pretend you're paying two thousand dollars or three thousand dollars a month on debt. Okay. Okay. And then you're making a, a car payment, or you're not making a car payment. Either one. You're still going to plow through the total of the debt in exactly the same amount of time. It does not okay. speed it up to get rid of the big payment at all. The only thing that would speed it up is if you got rid of a bigger interest rate, which is not what we teach, but that would actually speed it up. Um, but cha- paying, but getting rid of the bigger payment that you're making anyway doesn't change a thing. So what do you guys make a year? Um... 320. Well, that's good. What do you do yeah. for a living? I'm a nurse anesthetist. Ah, and there's the student loans. So, yeah, what kind of mess did you make? How much is the student loan debt? Right now it's at 275. That a boy. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> that's a lot. What else? What <laughs> else? Well, I have, uh, we have, all, one of our cars is almost paid off. We have, about five thousand left on it, mm-hmm. and then our other car is about thirty. Okay, that's it. Student loans and cars. Yeah, well, I mean, we have a we have a house. Mm-hmm. We have a mortgage, and we actually have two houses. One's getting rented out, but um, really, then we have our mortgage. But that's the rest what, of our. What's debt. that? What's that? How the rental house worth? Uh, it's worth maybe two hundred. And what do you owe um, on? About that, we just, it was really, like I said, it's kind of messy, so yeah. I got I, I would go job. ahead and get. I would go ahead and get that sold. That's not a okay. blessing, that's a curse. Well, the reason I didn't sell it was because I haven't had it for that long, and okay. I'm worried I'd pay a whole bunch of taxes on it. You're not paying taxes. You're not going to make any money. Okay. If you don't make money on it, you don't pay taxes. Okay. And was it a residence? Yeah, we, we, we were in it for just a few months, but it was How long kind have of you been out of it? House. How long have you been out of it? Uh, about two months. Oh, you can sell it with no taxes at all, no matter what your profit okay. is, up to a half million dollars married filing jointly. Yeah, you need to get rid of that thing ASAP, brother, because it's, it's, uh, it's a vampire. It is not going to do anything except suck your blood. So you need to, you need to do, be done with that puppy. And, the, um, and then from there, you know, Basically, what we're dealing with are the big numbers here. Are we going to pay 150 a year on this and be done in two years and have no life? Yeah. And that's what I would that prescribe. Was our hope. That's what I would prescribe. Quit acting like you okay. make a lot of money and instead act like you're a broke person. Because, by the way, you're a broke person who actually actually makes a lot of money, but uh, uh, which is wonderful. Great news is you have a horrible hole that you're in and you have a big old shovel to dig out. So that's wonderful. But, I mean, if you live on $100,000 a year and you put the rest of it towards this debt, you could be done in two years. That's what we're hoping. Yeah. Well, it's not hope. Well, it's it's I mean, last year I was, Yeah, last year I was making 130 I think. Yeah. 140 Yeah. So. All right, Spencer. We're Spencer. praying we can get better. Spencer. Yeah. I'm going to ask you two questions right in a row and just answer yes or no. Okay. Did you take out $275,000 student loans? Yes. 
Okay, cool. Period. That conversation's over. I can feel, I can hear you walking around your head staring at the ground. And you cannot get gazelle intent. A, a gazelle can't run away with staring at the at a, one foot in front of it because it's going to trip and fall on its own face. Hold your head up high. You did it. It's over. You own it. And now we're going to be about what comes next. And now you're a nurse anesthetist, which makes a buttload of money. A ton of money. You, so, you help yeah. people now, be now, alive. Yeah, so now go clean up the mess. And in two years, you'll be done. And you'll look back five years from now with a big old pile of money. And you go, God, man, I, don't, I almost busted it there. Thank God I decided to... Yes. You know, lean into this. Yeah, so lean into it with a smile and go, and game on, baby. Be aggressive. Game go on, get it. man. Game on. Get it. Get and it. This, oh, I hope it just, I hope it works. Get no. It. No, it's not going to get it. It's no hope. Smack get it, it down. It's math. It's not, I, it's not I wish. By God, it's math. I mean, you make two. You make $320,000. Let's put a hundred and fifty a year <laughs> on two seventy five, and in two years, it's magically gone. You know, I mean, it's this is how it works. But I, And I don't really care what your nurse anesthetist's friends are doing because they're mathematically stupid, so don't <laughs> listen to them. Okay, I really don't care if they're buying houses or BMWs or whatever. Sell the stupid house you just moved out of. Get rid of it. It's a problem. It's not a blessing. Uh, you can keep the cars just because you make so stinking much money if you want to keep that $30,000 car it's okay if you're going to get out of debt in two years or less if you're not going to get out of debt in two years or less you need to sell the thirty thousand dollar car but you need to you, you really you really need to get you need to get this done and you can do it it's very doable now it, it's man I, I i sometimes i talk to people that have two hundred seventy five thousand dollars in debt and they make a hundred or they make 65, and I and think, that, that that's a bigger problem, man. I mean, that's a little bitty shovel in a big old hole. You know, you can't, you can't do that. So, you know, the good news is you have the blessing of this income, so you have to dial it in and be game on, committed, you and your wife, and go, we don't make $320,000 a year. We're not going to act like we make $320,000 a year because we have a mess that is bigger than this, and we have to live on nothing, beans and rice, rice and beans. You don't need to see the inside of a restaurant unless you're working there. You don't need to go on vacation. You need to get out of debt, and you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. I can see it, and I can't wait to hear your debt-free scream. It's going to be amazing. <laughs>